Welcome back ladies and gents. Before I start this particular topic, if you look at the corner over there, there's a red subscribe button. Make sure you tap it and subscribe to my channel. In this video, I'll be looking at 8.4 points of intersection. 8.4 represents chapter 8, section 4 of the Pearson A-Level Maths, Pure Maths Year 2 textbook. Now, in this particular section, I'll be explaining how to work out a point of intersection on a given curve C when the equation of the curve C is given in parametric form. Here's a past exam question. A curve C has parametric equations x equals 6 cos t, y equals 4 sine 2 t plus 2, and the domain for t is t is more than minus pi over 2, but less than pi over 2. Part A, find the coordinates of the points where the curve intersects the x-axis. If the curve intersects the x-axis, this implies that y is equal to 0. Curve intersects the x-axis implies that y is equal to 0. Now, I know what y represents. It is just 4 sine 2t plus 2. So I can write 4 sine 2t plus 2 is equal to 0. Now, all I need to do is solve this particular trigonometric equation in this interval over here for t. After solving the trigonometric equation, I end up with t equal minus 5 pi over 12, t equal minus pi over 12. Now, we know that at an x-intercept, the y-coordinate is 0, so I've got y equals 0 here, y equals 0 here. All I need to do is work out the x-values corresponding to these two t-values. The method is to substitute these two t-values into the x-equation to work out the x-coordinates. So, ladies and gents, after putting my t-values into the x-equation, I get x equal 3 root 6 minus 3 root 2 all over 2, and x equal 3 root 6 plus 3 root 2 all over 2. So, the x-intercepts are these two over here. Part B. Show that the curve crosses the line y equal 4, where t is equal pi over 12 and t is equal 5 pi over 12. Take t equal pi over 12 and put it into the y-equation and show that I get y equal 4. Then take t equal 5 pi over 12, put it into the y equation and show that I get y equal 4. So ladies and gents, here is the working out to part B. Moving on to part C, it says hence determine the coordinates of points where y equal 4 intersects the curve. Now when y equal 4 intersects the curve, there are two possible t values. The first one is t equal pi over 12, the second one is t equal 5 pi over 12. Substitute t equal pi over 12 into the x equation to generate the first x value and then substitute t equal 5 pi over 12 into the x equation to generate the second x value. Putting t equal pi over 12 and t equal 5 pi over 12 into the x equation gives me these two x values over here. So in conclusion, y equal 4 intersects the curve at these two points over here. Here is another juicy exam question. It says, show that the line with the equation y equal 2x minus 5 does not intersect the curve with parametric equations x equal 2t, y equal 4t, t minus 1 in brackets. Now, the first step is to write down the Cartesian equation of the straight line and the parametric equations of the curve. So that is my first step. I've got y equal 2x minus 5, which represents the Cartesian equation of the straight line. And I've got x equal 2t and y equal 4t, t minus 1 in bracket, which represents the parametric equations of the curve. I can replace the y with 4t, t minus 1 in bracket. And I can replace the x with 2t. I've got the minus 5 as well here. After expanding and taking everything to one side, I end up with this quadratic equation. For this quadratic equation, a is equal to 4, b is equal to minus 8, and c is equal to 5. My next step is to find the discriminant of this particular quadratic equation. Ladies and gents, the discriminant is just b squared minus 4ac. Substituting my values of a, b and c into the discriminant gives me the following result. Minus 16. Minus 16 is less than 0. Which implies that 
there are no solutions for t for this particular quadratic equation and if there are no solutions for t we can't generate x and y values and if we can't generate x and y values, this means that the straight line y equal 2x minus 5 and the curve x equal 2t, y equal 4t in bracket t minus 1 do not intersect. Don't forget to write your conclusion.